um, sesame seeds on the top. Mmm, delicious. What's up guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna to be making some Mongolian beef. Someone requested this, so I'm super excited to make it for you guys. The recipe will be in the description box below. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the beef. I have some steak here. So I have some fresh steak. And what we're gonna do is coat this steak with some cornstarch. So just going to go ahead and open up this package. We will put the flank steak in a large bowl and coat it with cornstarch. I read that you can also substitute for sirloin steak, ribeye. You're just gonna want it really thin like this. It's really, really thin. And so we're just going to coat this with some cornstarch really quick. Show you guys the process here. Hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's go ahead and add our steak to the bowl. I'm gonna need about one pound. So I have two of them. And we're just gonna add this to the bowl. All right, got our steak, our delicious steak in a bowl. All right, now I have one third or one fourth cup of cornstarch. Just gonna carefully add that to the bowl. All right, let's go ahead and toss this around. Also uh, washed and sliced some vegetables, cut up some carrot, what else? Oh, one red bell pepper, green onion. Got our delicious steak here, covered in cornstarch. Cornstarch steak. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and set this aside. And then we will start with our sauce. Really quick. So yeah, like I said, I already um, washed and sliced some vegetables. I have some carrots, uh, green onions, and then a red bell pepper. And this is the white part of the green onion that I'm gonna be cooking. So we're gonna cook the white part of the onion. And then I also have green onions for garnish as well. I'm just going to need a big bowl with a whisk and we're going to make our sauce for our Mongolian beef. So let's go ahead and start with that. So I have some extra garlic and then some ginger here. So we're just going to add that to the bowl. Gotta scrape all of it. Don't wanna waste any garlic. All right, so we got that. Now we're gonna need one third cup of water. Just like so. <laughs> and then one third cup of light sodium soy sauce. So one third cup of delicious soy sauce, light sodium to be exact. All right. Okay, now, one third cup of packed light brown sugar to our bowl. And then also one teaspoon of sriracha or to taste. I'm gonna do a little bit extra because I love sriracha. I absolutely love sriracha. So I did about a tablespoon, I'd say. Let's go ahead and mix that up nicely. Very simple sauce, as you can see. Simple, but smells delicious. Delectable. <laughs> All right. Here is our delicious Mongolian beef sauce. Smells so good. That garlic and ginger, perfect pair. Yum. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this aside. Okay guys, so I got this recipe on natashaskitchen.com. This is what it looks like. Super delicious looking. Um, so what it says to do is we're going to add a large skillet. So I have my stainless steel skillet, or you can use a wok. I have a wok, but I decided to just use my stainless steel. I'm gonna heat one tablespoon of oil with one tablespoon of butter over medium high heat. And then once the skillet is nice and hot, we're gonna add our vegetables. And then we're going to remove the vegetables from the skillet to a plate, and then we will cook our steak. Let's go ahead and add some oil and butter to a skillet. Okay guys, let's go ahead and add one tablespoon of butter, and then one tablespoon of cooking oil. 
Okay guys, our oil is nice and hot, so let's go ahead and add our vegetables. Super hot. Mm -hmm. I have it on a medium heat right now. Okay guys, so like the recipe said, once the vegetables are nice and tender, we'll remove it from the skillet, and then we're gonna add more oil to the pan, turn it up to a high heat, then we're gonna add our beef. We're gonna sear the beef for about two minutes on each side, and we don't wanna crowd the pan, so we might wanna do this in batches. Um, and then once the beef is fully cooked, we'll add our sauce. The vegetables are nice and cooked, so let's go ahead and remove it from the skillet. Remove this from the skillet. Go ahead and I added more oil to the skillet and I turned it on a high heat. So let's go ahead and add our beef. Sear our beef. Two minutes on each side. So it's nice and crispy. Gonna need some more oil. So let's let that cook for about two minutes and then flip them to the other side. The other side. Okay guys, let's remove our steak and then um, continue the process with the remaining beef. Okay. Let's go ahead and add our steak to this plate here. Add some more oil and then our remaining steak here. Okay guys, I went ahead and added the rest of the beef and removed. Okay guys, so I have it on a medium low heat right now. Just gonna let that simmer. All right you guys, so. This is our delicious Mongolian beef. I'm going to garnish it with sesame seeds and some green onion. Okay guys, so here's our Mongolian beef. Delicious Mongolian beef with green onions. I have some rice and um, sesame seeds on the top. It smells delicious. Can't wait to try it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Yum. Wow. It's delicious. Delicious sauce too. Sweet, savory. Super delicious. I love that sauce. Mm. <clears throat> mm.
Yum. Wow. <laughs> it's a new favorite of mine. So good. I have a Coke Zero. Put it in my cup. Cheers. I keep adding more green onions <laughs> and sesame seeds. Overheated. Just a little bit left. Mm. Delicious. I'm a human being Copy 
can't see Knew it from the start, you had problems with me And the things I could be, I just wish I had seen I feel this pain